up YouTube? This is Random Nation coming at you real quick, and I am on my uh, NES Classic right here, playing a little quick game of Zelda. Um, Zelda is a pretty cool little game. It was on the NES original NES system. Um, it's the story of Link. Zelda is actually the princess's name. Um, but Link right here, he's got his little Bible-looking shield in his hand. I always laughed at that. I was like, why has he got a Bible in his hand? Then I realized it was supposed to be a shield. But, um... It's pretty cool because the music that's with the game, which... Grab this real quick. That music, which I can't play too much of because, you know, YouTube and it's crap, um, was actually last minute music. It was supposed to be something else, which I'm so glad they didn't go with the other thing. Oh, you butthead. Thank you. Um, but that music there right there. He was supposed to play something else, and they weren't able to get the copyright on the other music, and last minute, like literally last minute, the day before release, he came up with that music and put it on the game. And as we all know, it became a hit. It became the classic Zelda music. Um, of course, if you wasn't raised back then, and you don't really know too much about Zelda, then I guess you don't know that, but it is a classic music. Every single Zelda game has a version of that. Uh, this is level one, also known as dungeon one. When I was growing up, we always called them dungeons. We didn't call them levels. Um, uh, even though it does say at the top left is level one. But this door right here in front of me, I'm going to show you all a little quick trick to getting past that door without having a key. All you do is go back out and come right back in. Simple as that. Now that key is gone. Alright, so to play Zelda you get your sword and you run around and you kill bats and goblins and all kind of little creatures that pop up. There's ghosts in the game, there's like likes which you ain't gonna see them in this yet but it kinda looks like a picnic blanket that steals your shield when you have a big shield. I fortunately don't have a big shield yet, so even if I were to run across one, I can't believe I just ran into him. <laughs> but even if uh, I had one, I'd be good, because by the time you, by the time I run across them, I usually have the best sword that you can get, which kills them pretty quick. Um, there is a few glitches in this game, and it's not because of the fact it's on the classic console. It is actually due to the fact that they were actually in the original game, which is what this is. This is actually the original game. I actually put this ROM on there myself. Um, I don't even remember if this was one of the original games that came on this system. Um, I could go that way, but there's no point. Well, I guess I'll go that way just so I can show you what you get in this room. As you can see, there is that little thing with the up and down arrows on it. That is a compass. And what that does is, as you see right up there at the top of the screen, there is a little blinking dot now. That is where your main goal of this level is. That is what they call the Triforce. Um, fortunately, I don't need to go for that just yet because i got a couple other things i got to get first. We're going to go ahead and, there we go, get rid of all them. Sometimes if you go into rooms and you see stuff like that, if you kill it all, sometimes doors like that will open. Sometimes you have to push something to make them open. This way there's nothing but a guy over there that tells you a secret about either the level or something else in the game, which is not really a secret because by the time you end up going in there, you're like, oh, well, thanks. 
All right, that right there is a map, which of course shows you the map. If you press the start button, it'll actually show you the same map, but it shows you what rooms you've already been in, so that you can compare it to that map over there. And see, so, yeah, as I look right there, I can see that I've went up one room. It even shows you the doorways and all that kind of stuff. When I was younger, I used to actually sit there and map out these rooms. Um, actually, I mapped out the entire game. The overworld and the rooms. Which the overworld is the outside area. There's a key right there to where I can get in this one. Which... Ooh, perfect. They just gave me another key. I'm going to use one of the three keys to come to this door. Go down here. Boing. 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 That is the bow that I just picked up. Alright, now we got to go up. I really enjoy this game. This game right here is the one that actually made me originally love Zelda. Uh, and it's mainly because when I first played this, or when we first got this when I was a kid, it came with a, I guess you can say an instruction booklet or a pamphlet that kind of told you everything that you're supposed to do for the most part. And it did have some hints in it and stuff, and it had a map of the overworld that told you where everything was, well, most everything. Um, it told you what all the names of the different creatures were, and all that kind of stuff. The thing was, I was a kid. So, of course, my reaction was, I don't need this piece of paper. I don't know what it's for. I'm throwing it away. So, I never even looked at the pamphlet until I got older. I think I might have been 17 or 18 when I actually finally looked at the pamphlet and said, Oh, oh well, here's here's the uh, thing that helps you. Uh, these right here are what you call hands. I don't remember what the actual names of these things were for the game, but if one of these hands grabs you, they will take you all the way back to the beginning of the level, which really sucks, especially if you're, you know, on a higher level and they have a lot of rooms in, like, the ninth dungeon, which is the final dungeon, or ninth level. If you're in the ninth level and you're about to fight the main creature, which is Ganon, and all of a sudden that hand grabs you and takes you all the way back to the beginning and you got to go through the maze of rooms just to get back, then, well, that really sucks because you're probably going to have to go back out go get yourself some potions or whatever to bring yourself back to life. Um, this right here that's in front of me is called a piece of the Triforce. Triforce, when you get all of them, I'll show you once it actually takes me out of here. Ugh. Once it takes me out of here, as you can see right there, that's the Triforce. There's a total of eight pieces all together. Once you get all eight pieces, you can take all eight pieces and go fight Ganon, which is the main bad guy. Ganon kidnapped Zelda. So, of course... Since Ganon kidnapped Zelda, you have to go, just like in Mario, rescue her. Butthead. Alright. So usually from here, I would usually go up here. I would turn right. There we go. Had to get my get my heart back right there and run across there we go and whoop shoot and these flying things you can't hit them while they're flying which really sucks especially when you got those things in the sand chasing you but as soon as they land you can whack them
And you can tell when they're about to land because their propellers slow down on you. There we go. And I did learn over the years if you leave one of everything on here, then you don't really have to worry about it too much. And this is something that I wish I'd have known when I was a kid. When they're landed, you can literally sit here and just keep boomeranging, on, boomeranging them. And they will stay on the ground until you stop. Once you stop, then they'll take off. Unfortunately, your boomerang has no effect on them while they're in the air. Um, there's one. There's two. There's three. I'll leave him there. Butthead. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Sometimes you can move stuff like that and you'll find secret staircases. Which, of course, you don't want to go to every hole because some of them actually take money from you. This one's going to give me money, so I'm going to go into it. Um, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you. I needed those bombs. Now I can actually take these bombs back up this way and go get what they call a heart container. I didn't explain this earlier. I actually picked one up earlier. I'm sure you know exactly what I'm going to pick up. Now, that's why I left him the where I didn't have to fight all the other ones when I come back. Or when I came back to here. Alright, now if you ever go into one of these rooms, or if you ever come across one of these guys that's offering a potion bottle or a heart container, here's a hint. Don't ever grab that. Grab that. Every time. Because it gives you another one of those things right up there. And, well, that's a good thing. You need those. That's what keeps your life. You get a total of 18 of those in the game if you collect all of them. I, when I was younger, I messed up and grabbed the potion bottle because I was like, oh, I could use that. The problem is, is once you use that potion bottle, you no longer have the ability to get that heart container again. So you're just out of luck. Um, right here is level two. I don't know how much time we're looking at here. We're looking at 12 minutes already, guys. So, with this being level 2, I'm going to save it for next time. Um, guys, I hope you all understand. I appreciate you all sticking around this long to watch it with me. Y'all have a great day. This is Random Nation, and I'm out of here.